In this video, we're going to be looking at shapes that you can add to your muscle simulation that aren't strictly speaking muscles, but that can help you out with your tissue sim. So in this example that some of you might recognize from an earlier launch video, there are these thumper muscles added. Um, they're not real muscles, but basically what they do is they allow for a space between the pecs and the arm muscles so that when you do the tissue simulation, there's a gap, there's enough of a thickness for the tissue to fit in without sort of interpenetrations being forced. The idea is you set these up basically just like normal muscles. You'll just set some of the values to zero and I'll show that in a minute. But then once you're done with your simulation, you can delete them um, and it will just have ensured that the muscles are nicely spaced for the tissue simulation. So that's one situation. Another one could be something that you would actually keep for the tissue simulation and that's more for a fat volume. For instance, you can imagine that if this were a female character, you could have something like this for the fatty volume of the breasts that you can control more than the tissue if you have it as part of your muscle simulation. You obviously just wouldn't have any flexing, but you can still use the muscle set up to control the density and the jiggle and um, properties like that. Also, maybe if this character had a bit of a belly, we could add a volume for that fat just to have more control over what it would be if it were just all included in this tissue simulation that basically gets done in one pass for the whole body. Especially because the tissue simulation isn't well suited to very large volumes of fat. Anywhere where you have a fairly large pocket of fat, such as a belly or breasts, it's going to be very useful to add it to your muscle sim instead of your tissue sim. Okay, so let's take a look at the setup for this file. Basically, the model, the muscles are just coming in over here and they've been solidified. And then what's happened here is the shape has just been sculpted basically with an edit node. Um, this is from a few Houdini versions back. These days you could use a sculpt sop to do some nice editing. Um, and it's been given the muscle ID, just bumper in this case. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it's identifiable. Solidified. In this case, the mirroring was done at this point because the muscles were mirrored from the start. Um, and then it's exactly the same settings in the muscle properties node. You could, if you wanted to, you could um, have it change the mass density to behave more like fat. Change the shape stiffness. If, if this were, instead of a bumper muscle, if this were some type of fatty tissue that you wanted to keep, you could play with things like the shape stiffness, the damping ratio, all these things. But in this case, it was all just left as default. And then in the constraints, let's just select these and hit enter to get to the tab that is in. So in this case, what's happened is the muscle ends, you can see the end radius is set to zero so that there are no muscle ends. So there's nothing that is strongly constrained to bones. The muscle to muscle, the compressed stiffness has been reduced to zero and the distance threshold has been reduced. Although I believe what actually happened is this ended up with this dis distance threshold I believe there actually weren't any um, constraints created in this direction. I think all of these constraints are in the other direction. Yeah, you can see this actually turns off constraints. So this essentially means that the muscle has no constraints, or this fake muscle has no constraints from it to any other muscles. And the muscle to bone, the distance threshold is set to zero, so there are also no muscle to bone constraints. Then all of the constraints that attach this to these muscles are actually just from the pec muscle itself. Uh, so let's go back to muscle to muscle. If 
we go into wireframe. We'll see that these are actually from inside these muscles to the surface of these bumper muscles. Okay. And it probably doesn't matter too much, but you don't want to over constrain it because you don't want them to have an influence on the other muscles. You don't want it to pull on the other muscles. You just want it to be attached enough to the other muscles that it won't fall out of place. So it's a very basic setup. It's, there's nothing very complicated to it. And in a similar way to what I did for the belly cavity in the minotaur setup, you can use that type of approach for things like uh, subcutaneous fat pockets or breasts, etc. So I hope that helps you achieve more control over fat and all gaps between muscles for your tissue sim. Uh, the tissue sim will be a separate series, but seeing as this is set up in the muscles, I thought it would be useful to address that here.